Okay, so today, other than the solving all the problems in the Middle East, we're going to look at my games from 1994. That was one of my best years in chess. A lot of my favorite games are from 94. Okay, my first game is against Leonid Strugach, who's from the former Soviet Union, and him and his son moved to Michigan in the early 90s. And I actually played him in his first rated tournament in the U.S., but he was a candidate master in the Soviet Union. And I think his son was like class A, class B, cl class A, expert, A, something like that, 1900, 2000. But this guy's U.S. chess rating when he got a rating was over 2300. And this is the second time I played him. This was in the 1994 Motor, Motor City Open. And I won a lot of money that tournament. So this was a good tournament for me. Also, I got really sick between rounds four and five. I think it was from Bloom and Onion. Yeah. I think that's what made me sick. What? So I was going to resign one of my games because I was sick and I was losing, but I ended up winning. So it was crazy. It wasn't this game. Yeah, I got really sick during this tournament. And I felt terrible. Okay, so I have white. Obviously, it was a Queen C2 Nimzo, since I'm the world's leading authority on the Queen C2 Nimzo, except for the people who know it better than I do. But other than them, I'm I'm your guy. Okay. And he played C5, which is pretty rare nowadays. Most people castle now. And then you take. And he played Queen A5. Queen A5 in the 80s was very popular. And now nobody ever plays Queen A5. But between like 1984 and 2000, I faced Queen A5 like half the time in this position. What do people usually play now? Now they play castles, bishop takes c5, and knight a6. Those are the three most common moves. Okay, and what did Gelfand play against me for a trillion dollars? Um, Man, that train didn't work out very well. Damn. What did Gelfand play? A3. He was black. Oh, oh yeah, duh. Um, oh, yeah, it's black. Smoke. Should I show you my game with Gelfand? No. Oh, snap. <laughs> Although I don't remember it. Sorry, I was zoning out for a second. Okay, so black to move. So you, he, did, he didn't do the queen move, I guess. He didn't play queen a5 or knight a6 or castles or knight c6. All right, well, never or mind. Or bishop then. takes. You're like you took the fun out of it. No, but what did he do? Go ahead. No, he made a really unusual move. I've never faced it since. I don't know. He played queen c7. Oh. So when you say you didn't do the queen move, I couldn't answer you. Because if I say no, then you're like, you say you didn't move his queen. Okay. So, so that nobody let, does that move? I mean... No, the idea is just to stop bishop f4, which is a move I never play. So it, oh, it didn't see. work against me. Oh, I see, yeah. Okay. Now he played queen a5, so he wants to triple it up on the bubble up. Triple my pawns. So I played bishop d2. Mm -hmm. Queen takes c5, attacking my c pawn. E3, defending my C pawn. D5, A3, takes, takes. Okay, now this position, he's played okay. His play's okay. The engine says he's slightly worse. And he should definitely play DC because he's given me the two bishops. And as compensation, he can take this pawn and like hope to hang on to it. It's not a good hope, but you know, try. Trying is the first step to failure. And the engine says, even if he holds on to his pawn, he's slightly worse. But if he doesn't take that pawn, then all of his play is for naught. He's moving his queen a lot. I have two bishops. If he castles, for example, bishop b4 would, would skewer, or is that skewer? Yeah, skewer his queen and rook. Okay, now in your opinion, mm -hmm. which is a better square for the knight in principle? Knight c6 or knight d7? Which is a more active, better square? C6. C6. Okay, he didn't, he he can't castle, and he didn't play DC, so he played the next move, which gives him a bad position, which is knight bd7. And I don't like that move. I think that move is bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I played rook c1, and that way if he takes my pawn, I can play bishop b4 and get my pawn back. So I'm not worried about DC anymore. The engine says he should play DC. 
Now, if you're not going to play DC, and he didn't, and he didn't play at the previous move, typically you would castle. But you can't castle, as I explained earlier, because of bishop b4. Yeah. So what move did he play so I can't play bishop b4 and he can castle? Um, a5. That's what he played. A very weakening move. Not, not playing well. So even though material is equal, the engine already says I'm up a pawn, like plus one. Okay, I played. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. No, you probably said already, but what was his writing? 2300. Tw okay. okay. I played bishop d4 attacking his queen. He saw it, moved his queen away. And then I took on d5. And he has to trade queens because his queen's hanging. And now if he takes with the knight, I play bishop takes g7. So he didn't take with the knight. Okay, so positionally. Like if Magnus Carlsen was here, he would beg me to have white in this position. And I would say, I played this game in 1994. You can't be white. The game ended 29 years ago. And he would say, please, that's how good white's position is. Okay, white is strategically winning. White has two bishops. Black has a terrible pawn structure. Black has a terrible bishop. My bishop on d4 is immaculate. And the position's so good that even though material is equal and I have no threats, the engine says white is up 2.54. God damn. Okay, I played bishop b5. Nice score for my bishop. He played knight e4. He wants to play knight d6 and kick my bishop out. Okay, and his other idea is if I take this, he'll play rook g8 and rook takes g2. Or so he thought. Okay, and so I played bishop takes g7. He played rook g8. And now I made a move, and he can't play rook takes g2. What move did I play? Um... Man, extra cheese project got it before I even asked. Good job. I told Carlson shiver for me. And then he said in the pines and the pines, I couldn't believe it. Probably only like one person on the stream got that joke. Maybe less than one. Maybe like half a person got it. Darn, I'm not sure because you have to move because you're attacked. Right, but I can move somewhere and make this move not palatable for him. I know, but there's almost nothing on... Dark squares. Well, I guess you can go a different pace. Let's see. Extra cheese project, you should be a sub. You get what you deserve. It is a lead belly joke. Although I'm using the Nirvana version of the lead belly joke. But yeah, very good. So somebody did get it. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I played bishop e5 because the knight's pinned. Okay. And now if he takes my pawn, I play bishop g3 trapping his rook. Oh. And then I'm going to play king f1 and take it, or bishop f1 and take it, whichever uh, is funnier. I didn't think about that little trick. Okay, so he played king e7, which is the engine move, and I played bishop g3. And now the game was stopped by the arbiter, and my opponent got an award for worst pawn structure of all time. Terrible. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. That's pretty bad. Okay. And also he's down a pawn. Yours are all nice and connected. Okay. So he played rook g6, activating his rook. I played knight e2, because I don't know where I want my knight, but you know, somewhere. He played rook b6, attacking my bishop, but I saw it. He played knight d6. He wants to take my bishop. And I ignored it by playing knight f4, threatening knight takes d5 check with advantage. How can black stop knight takes d5 check? Um, let's see, you could go, you could go, um, knight f6. That's what he played. And then I played a move and he resigned. My move is the engine move. In fact, my move is 5.6 advantage for white, and the second best move is 2.5. So my move is twice as good as any other move. What did I play? 
Like, it's just not going to be what I wanted. <laughs> Trying to learn suggested an illegal move. Oh, he suggested a move for black from an hour ago. That's correct, trying to learn. When this stream ends in two hours, I'm going to have one million things on my Israel, you know, Hamas thing. A billion things like you're the worst and you're the best. And then... People who say I'm the worst, somebody will say, no, he's not. Oh. And then they'll say, yes, and then it'll be a lot of that. I won't, ha I won't be able to read it all. It'll be hundreds of them. What about... Um, yes, I know you're right. I can tell when you're right. No, no, uh, I know you're right. No, no, I know you're right. Bishop H4. I know when you're right. Okay. I, just, I can tell by, the, by, 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 who, by what you're doing. <laughs> When you, when you, the way you said that, I knew you well, were right. Well, that's a hard move. I saw No, but it. I knew you were right the way yeah. you were saying it. That's why I'm a grandmaster. Oh, I know okay. what you're thinking. Yeah, Bishop <laughs> H4. Cause, yeah, Man, now the truth hurts. Because you want to take, you okay, want to go to now, five. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you feel bad, okay? Because I'm your husband. That's some of my job is to make her feel bad. Yeah. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Pretend you're black, okay? Yeah. So you always should feel bad, okay? Make a move for black. That's the only way to understand how bad his position is, is to make you make a move. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Okay. My opponent did not make a move. They resigned? Yeah. Oh. yeah but if you, now, now, I'll tell you how bad this is. The engine says, like, King F8 hanging in the night is the right move. <clears throat> okay, by the way, watch this variation. This is the engine line. King F8, bishop takes F6, knight takes, threatening the bishop. And then bishop e7 check. If you take the bishop, I check and take your rook, and then I take all your other pieces. Yeah. That's the best black can do, is to be dead, dead, dead lost. So after bishop h4, he resigned. Now, I'd like to point out that, like, I'm not very good now at chess, but I used to be. Thank you, Tom Cobb, for the sub. I'm the used to police. And in 1994, I was especially good. Possibly, possibly, that's the best I ever was. Possibly. 94. So this guy's 2300, but I made him look like 2299. I mean, look at this guy. Like, if I showed this game to somebody, like Carlson, and I said, give me the ratings of the players, he would say, you know, Black's a beginner. Because I just tore him to shreds. Now if I play a 2300, I'm lucky to draw, and then I lose. But I used to be good. Thanks for the sub sponge worthy. I can't remember if we To shreds, you. you say. So just thank you again. <clears throat> That's your excuse for everything. You were one year old. What do you mean you're a GM? That's the wrong way of your, and GM should be capitalized. You should put a question mark at the end. And you should know I'm a GM and other things. <clears throat> 